<laughs> he is out of here. <laughs> Seriously out of here. G'day everyone, welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. Today we are back on the Murray, I've got the yak. And there's heaps of people around, it's the weekend, but I am going to go search out some carp in the uh, lagoons. It's a very fun way to fish. Um, it's sort of partly cloudy day, but because they should be sitting up on the weed, I think we'll find a few. So I'm going to do my paddle out underneath the bridge and head up into one of the backwaters and hopefully we find a few. clear which is nice um, the plan is I'm just gonna head up all these reedy bits I've got good pockets of clean water inside um, with weed beds and that's normally where I find the carp so I'm gonna shoot in there try and plow my way through the, the reeds and go spotting some mud marlin I've got the eight weight Scott rigged up I've got a bright orange black tailed uh, woolly bugger unweighted floating line I think there's it might be 20 pound tippet on there, so it's certainly take no prisoners today. I can actually plough through all this stuff, would be good. Uh. Uh. Makes it through with ease. And straight away I think I've spotted a big one right there. Two big tailors here, one just out here, there's another one over there. There he is. Eight. So going to get me in the weed, this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you doing, man? That was short and sharp. <laughs> Very short. Oh, dropped it. Just see him. It's, am it's amazing. It's only little dimples on the surface, but then he just poked his tail out a couple of times. Just slowly get up to him. Be nice if the sun came out for a brief moment that would make things easier but there he is there don't think i'm going to get that luxury around the paddle there he's right there cast is good eats it <laughs> <laughs> Jumping carp, what the hell? <laughs> oh, far out. He's going nuts, this one. <laughs> They're so much fun. They're really good fun. And I'm pretty sure if I get towed over there, I'm going to get done in the wheat. Which is exactly what he's going to do. Try and stop the kayak a bit. <laughs> good old anchor. <laughs> uh, all right well that was awesome nice seat on the orange orange woolly bugger okay dude settle down he knows what's coming and after being everywhere all over australia fly fishing for lots of different things i still think coming back and chasing calf in the murray is pretty damn fun. Got him. There we go. Carp on the fly out of the kayak. Very nice. 
I actually thought there was a swell rolling in, but no, it's just all the wake baits. Here he comes. Pizza that time. He's gonna jump in the kayak. <laughs> go on the bank. There's not many places for this guy to go. <laughs> Except in the weed and out the other side. <laughs> uh, uh, get out without capsizing. Oh, my leg's caught. Alright. It's a bit of a close call. <laughs> oh, he's out through the weed and out the other side. Uh, come on, dude. Out you come. <laughs> he wasn't quite sure what he was going to do. <laughs> Get you up on the bank. He's covered in weed, brought in heaps of lettuce with him. It's funny when you get them real close to you like that and you're not sure whether you should be teabagging, whether you should be casting. And that first one came right past and he didn't eat it, but the second one did. He's a bit of a long skinny fella, but I'll dispatch of him and we'll go and catch another one. So here's a good spot to explain the best sort of water. Um, you'll find them out in that, the stuff in the main, in the main bit out there, but you'll find lots of fish in these calm backwaters, or like on the edges of the backwaters. And I think that's for a couple of reasons. I think, I think the water's slightly warmer here. There's more bu bugs, there's more food to forage around in, but because it's shallower as well, they're easier to find. There's lots of fish. There would be lots of fish out in that deeper stuff, but they're just not as easy to find as this stuff up in here. So if you come um, to do this, that, that's what I'd recommend coming up into this real shallow stuff. got one on the side here there's another one out there I'm just gonna push myself in that little bit closer this one here is gonna come up pretty quickly I got him here should be able to get a cast at this one where'd you go he's right there just drop that fly past and draw it so it lands in front of him I just just lost sight of that one now the cloud's going to come over. I'm sure he hasn't gone anywhere. I'll just wait five seconds and see if he comes back. The water's actually a really good clarity in here for carping. I think he's still there. I think he is right, right about there, I think. Right about there. <laughs> And there he was. <laughs> he's not quite sure what the hell's going on because he's just been minding his own business in this little backwater. And now he's got a fly pinned in the side of his gob. <laughs> all right, well, that one didn't fight at all, which is kind of sad, but you know, that happens every now and again. <laughs> all right, here he is, dirty great mud marlin. And this one's obviously been feeling the heat because he didn't fight that well, but we'll dispatch of him doing the river a favor and we'll keep ticking along and get another one, hopefully. You can see three here. We've got one here, one there, and one out there, and one right here. I'll take this one here, please. Just gonna do a simple little bow and arrow to not spook him but he just spooked for some reason here we go he'll eat this or not it's not very fair what are you doing eat that eats it gonna get me in the weed again <laughs> straight in the weed funny you'll get some that won't fight at all and then some that just go absolutely bananas got you though man got you out of the weed you didn't win that time. <laughs> nice conditioned fish. There he is. 
Not as big as the other one, but fought way better. Managed to just get him out of the weed. And that hot orange uh, with the black tail has just been working so well. And I know friends of mine in Vic that I've given this fly to, they catch lots of fish on it as well. Great, great choice for carping. All right, dispatch of him, we'll get another one. Oh, it's tangled around that, which is not good. Cast is good, just draw it back. He's gonna see it. Eats it. Oh man, he's angry. Angry and in the weed. Get out of there. Whoa. Actually, he's coming into there. He's trying to get out. Oh dear. It's a bit of lettuce on that one. <laughs> now he's over there. Oh geez, I'm gonna have to get out the kayak. I think. Get out. Otherwise, this is gonna end badly. I'm gonna tangle up. Almost capsize. Out you come. Do some manhandling. Get on the other side of these. Bits of lily there. Yes. <laughs> That's a funny song, mate. Uh, nice fish, he's big. He's a big carp. And he's made it back into the weed again. Get it off of that bit. Come on. Yep, weave your way out of there. That's good. That's going to be fish of the day, I reckon. He's a big one. That is a big one. Holy moly. Oh, look at this for a tank. <laughs> big, big mud marlin. Changed to the black because the other one was straightened out. And this one's just straight onto it. Look at the motor on him. That is a cracking big mud marlin in the uh, backwater. I just saw one on the back side of oh, this log jam here, there he is there. Cast is better that time. Just raced over and ate it. <laughs> Another jumping carp. <laughs> oh, fall out of the kayak. <laughs> what do you reckon, Pelicans? Is that dinner? Maybe, probably a bit big for you. <laughs> All right, now what are you gonna do, fish? Go into the log. They're probably not fighting as much as normal because I'm using 20 pound tippet and not letting any line out when I hook the fish. <laughs> and that's probably why I've straightened a few hooks too. <laughs> cool as. It's a banger in amongst all the sticks and trees with a hundred pelicans looking on. Chunky fish. Cruising through the timber. They're probably my favorite ones to catch because they just go bananas. As soon as they can feel any logs or snags, they know exactly what to do and go running for them. How's this for a root base? It's just been peeled, <laughs> peeled out of the mud. Two of them, that one there too. That's epic. <laughs> I could hear that one from ages away. <laughs> Here we go. He's just in against this big patch of reed, sort of sticky stuff here. Reed sticky stuff, that's a technical term. I'm just gonna glide my way in. It is super handy with a kayak because if you're on the bank, it'll be pretty hard going. You'd get lots, of, you'd get lots of shots, but it's just not as easy as drifting in with a kayak. Where'd he go? 
who is right there. Oh. Come on, get a better cast at him. Just see the shadow there now. He's still there, He's still right there. See that time? Yep. He certainly did. Most certainly did. Ow, oh, burn my finger. Wow. <laughs> He is out of here. Seriously out of here. He's going to make it to the other side. <laughs> uh, just when you thought he hadn't eaten it, he goes and rips 30 metres of line off your fly reel. He's going to pull me down into the backwater. <laughs> It just goes for kilometres here too. There's just so much water to fish. Oh, here he is, another big, big fish. There's another one against the bank there. And there's another one there. That's crazy. There's so many big carp in the Murray still. Charm. That is a big one. That is a whopper. They're all whoppers. Well, that was pretty good fun. I think I've had my fill in the dispatch of this one and uh, do the old kayak back to the ramp. But certainly had a lot of fun coming out and catching these carp on fly. I've been doing it for years and years now. I think the best day we've had is 100 and, 106 fish a mate and I um, got in one day. Really good fun. So if you're into your sight fishing, if you're into your fly fishing, make sure you come down do the river a favour and target a few carp on fly. Really, really good fun.